Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with some really fun Brutus Monroe products. I have the Sophisticated Spring Paper Pad. I've got Candy Coat and I have this gorgeous stencil that the name is escaping my mind at the moment. So I am scrapbooking a photo of my husband and I. This is us inside the Polynesian Resort. Uh, we scooted over there and went and had some photo pass pictures taken. So what I'm doing is I have placed my um, stencil down over top of one of the beautiful plaid papers from this sophisticated spring paper pack. And then as you can see, I messed it up. So off camera, I took my stencil and I sprayed it with pixie spray and then placed it over top of each of the papers. And then I used my candy coat on top. So I did a yellow on a yellow plaid, a pink on a pink gingham, green on green, you get the idea. So then after I stenciled that, I let it dry and I went ahead and fussy cut out the stenciled embellishments because I wanted to use them more of kind of like floral ephemera rather than a stenciled uh, element on my layout. And that is the beautiful thing about stenciled images, you guys. You don't have to keep them as a stenciled image. You can cut them up and do all kinds of fun things with them. Um, here I am taking some white acrylic paint and just placing it down over top of this pattern paper. Now you could do the same thing with a piece of white cardstock, but I was feeling very uh, mixed media -y to, on this day, so I went ahead with the white paint. So now what I'm going to do is grab that same stencil and I'm going to place it over top of the white paint and I am going to use some modeling paste and push it through the stencil. Now, in this case, I am using just white modeling paste over top of the white paint. And I love a white on white effect in scrapbooking. Um, I really like it uh, with mixed media like this. I like it with white on white cardstock. I just think that white on white is a beautiful um, effect in scrapbooking. I actually think um, color on top of color, like same color on top of same color, um, does an amazing thing too. I, it just, it's very pleasing, right? Like it's very pleasing. So um, my only thing that I have really to complain about what I'm doing right now is I ended up covering up most of it up, um, but I really like this. So I will probably do this, um, another another time and maybe with the same stencil because I love the kind of leafy bits I love the little dotty bits I love the floral bits like this this stencil is just perfect um, and I really wish I could remember the name of it um, but I can't right now it'll be in the description box down below it's I'm just you know having a brain blank and can't remember so now I am uh, grabbing a piece of cardstock and I cut it uh, into a banner and I'm just using an edge distressor tool to rough up the edges of the banner. I am very into roughing up my edges right now. I even roughed up edges on a card. Um, I just enjoy it and I like the way that it looks so I'm just going to keep doing it until I get out of that phase or move on and find something else that is fun to do. So now I'm going to pull out that paper uh, pad again and I am going to make the paper work for me. So the paper comes in a six by six square, but I need it to be a rectangle. So what I'm going to do is cut it and hide it underneath of the banner. So you would never know that it wasn't a rectangle piece of paper. Now I'm also going to bring in some scraps from my stash, uh, just coordinating papers that work with that sophisticated spring uh, paper pack. Now I will tell you guys that any Brutus Monroe paper pack that comes out that is in plaids, it has my heart. 
I imagine that this will be one that I buy multiple times uh, because the other plaid uh, paper pack, the playful plaid paper pack, I think I've bought it four or five times um, and because I've used it and I keep using it. Um, I really find plaids to be versatile and they don't really have to stick with the season. It's one of those staples that you should keep in your craft stash. At least it's one that I keep in my craft stash. I do like to have those papers that you can use over and over and over and over again, and you would never even know. You can do so many things with it. So as you can see, I got my photo down, and you saw that I covered up just about all of that beautiful white mixed media through that stencil, and that's okay. Um, I know it's I know it's there. So now I'm going to take those fussy cut uh, florals and leafy bits, and I'm just going to place them all the way around my photo. Go to go ahead and make sure that really this just screams, look at this photo. And I'm doing that by putting these fussy cut pieces all the way around. So Candy Coat is a beautiful medium. Um, it is a glaze and it has like sparkly bits in it and it has kind of that candy sheen to it. Now, in each of the different colors, the sparkly bits are a little bit different. I don't know exactly um, what the formulation is, but it is awesome. So now I'm going to uh, just keep on uh, figuring out where I want these pieces to be. So I want to have a variety of colors where I'm putting them down and I don't want um, one particular color to be more prominent than the other. I kind of want to balance it out a little bit. And then as you can see, I've popped up some of them on fun foam and I'm also fussy cutting out a little bit more um, if it doesn't uh, work the way that I really want it to be. So in that case, I didn't want the kind of pink leafy bit to be trimmed off the edge of my paper. So I just ripped off the bottom of it and tucked it down further. So now I've got this uh, last little bit and I'm gonna place that down there. And then I have a pre-made embellishment that says this is our happy place. We have lots of happy places, but Disney is definitely one of them. So I thought it was completely appropriate to use that. I'm gonna pop some of those stenciled ephemera bits out with some pop foam. And then I have the acrylic bubbles that I am going to dollop around the layout. So I do enjoy using the Brutus Monroe acrylic bubbles with a liquid adhesive. Um, that way, when the adhesive dries, you don't really see anything. You just see that the bubbles are there on the page. So again, I'm popping up some more things on some fun foam, just so nothing feels like it's like leaning down on the page. And then that is gonna do it for this layout, you guys. That shot right there with the candy coat and the stenciled bits and the acrylic bubbles, ugh. It's like scrapbooking chef's kiss. I just love it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Check out the links down below, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.